Right, let's see if we can get these wee girls to run through the scales this time. So we had a little bit of trouble, we tried about a week ago, and uh, yeah, they're running through the scales fine to be fair, but we got to about halfway through the mob, and we couldn't get the load of the race. So, uh, I got a bit angry, to be fair, and decided bugger it, let the whole lot go, and we did this. When I say we, I should say my uncle, all I did was drive to town and buy the stuff, but uh, yes, this used to be one big pen, and used to run up to the race, and the race is slightly downhill, which doesn't work. The sheep would get to here, and they would run up, where's my hand, and they'd turn back that way. So we thought, well, what do we do to make this better? We could either rip that end off the race, put it here and redesign the whole yards, which is not going to happen for a while and is a big job, or we could somehow try and make this pen smaller. So what we've done, or what my uncle's done, we've sort of talked about and designed it together, and he's done all the work and he makes a beautiful job as you can see, is this. So we come up here and straighten the race, no way to turn around. When we're drenching, this cap here, pull that off, and go right over there, so we can load both sides that way, out of that lot, or if that doesn't work, that gate there, that is a temporary gate, he's uh, going to make another gate for that, but that was just what he had at the moment, bloody hard to get piped because of COVID, if that doesn't work, we can put him in here, put that one across to there, yes that will be chained, and I'll come back and show you. We could load out of there, and either way it's going to stop them turning around when they get up there, so it should be brilliant. Hi girls! Hi girl, get up there. What's that, Elliot? You're good, we man. Yeah. So these are the lighter hoggets. They're uh, between 43.5 and 55 kilos, which is bad. Most of them have lambed. There's 50 there. Five, I think it was. Um, yeah, call it bad management, call it bad border security. I don't know what happened, we still don't know, we never will. But that's what's happened. So, there's a challenge there with them, and we've got to get them sorted. I'll have a bit of a look at this. So, if we go to view sessions, still on session four, this is what we did today. So, we've got 55 lights went out. Uh, hang on a minute, I need to. How do I do this? Options. Uh, no, hang on, I'll get back to this. Right, so I found it. So that 96.5, that's not right. That's a one and a half animal weigh. So I know, maybe a two, don't know. I know there's a 78 in there somewhere and I saw it go through and that's a real one. But we'll see what we can do here. Click on that, uh, there we go, look as easy as that. Delete record. Now, we go back to our averages. And we're one less, and our average has gone down a wee bit. Can't remember what it was before, but it's gone down anyway. Um, just remove that because I know that's false information. Unfortunately, the ones at the bottom were that way. So we go to session statistics. There we go. So we had 293, average 65.1 kilos, kilos, so that's good. Uh, mediums 135 between 55 and 60, um, average 57.6, they're a bit light, 
and then obviously the low ones, the 55 there with an average of 51.7, most of them had lambs, not all of them to be fair, but most of them. Um, I wasn't happy with these sheep the whole way through. Sort of sort of a uh, combination of COVID, having to hold a whole lot of lambs on for longer. The, the ewe condition, the two deaths weren't too bad, I'll admit. They were pretty crap in June, but we fed them grass the whole way through and yeah, they were good after that. But uh, yeah, the, what was I saying? Yeah, so I wasn't happy with anything the whole way through and that's just showing up now. These hoggets on crop, they just, they weren't doing very well. So yeah, just the result of that, I guess. We've got a bit of work ahead of us to get them up to scratch. Alright, so power off. Very, very simple and easy to use these things. They've made them very farmer friendly. Back in the case and back up to the house so nobody can steal it. Oh, ideal. Just getting the hoggets in for sharing. These are the ones that haven't lambed. The ones we weighed off the other day that were uh, air slim, all above 55 kgs. So. Better ones, I'll get the other mob in soon, but uh, wasn't here, Slim. Come on, Slim. Wasn't supposed to rain till after lunch, and uh, yeah, the weather forecast is living up to their name. It's raining, although it's bugger all. Here, Slim. I'm gonna go that way, dude. Come on, dude. Here, Slim. Um, yeah, so bugger all, just a little bit of drizzle. Doesn't necessarily take a lot to make sheep wet. Oh, it is Thursday morning right now. We're putting them in for Saturday morning shearing, which is 48 hours, which is way too long. So, there'll be a few breaks in the weather, and what we'll do is we'll let them out here. There's not a huge amount of feed here, but it is nice feed. What's down under there? It doesn't look it at the moment. But if I stop, oh, there's a good spot. Clover. Clover, 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 clover. clover. There's even a bit of clover flower around too, which is good. So they come out for a feed, they'll get a good energy feed, there's water in here they can get a drink and they'll be fine. So if they get let out for a couple of one hour goes, they'll be as good as gold. Yeah, be good to get them shorn. The sort of shearers are a bit nervous about the number of shearers they have. Hang on a sec. Slim! Good boy. Thank you. Um, yeah, so normally we'd do these with the main line of ewes just before Christmas, or just after Christmas even. But uh, yeah, we're a bit worried. If we don't get those ewes shorn, we wind up in a position where we might have to hold on to them until March. There's a very narrow window for us between getting them shorn and getting them out of the works, or them not having enough wool on before the lamb kill comes on. So yeah, we're a bit nervous about that. But uh, yeah, so we'll get these ones done now, and that sort of helps the shearers out a wee bit, shifts a bit of their backlog and hopefully we'll get looked after for the main shear use. And the hoggets are still wet. And the shearers aren't coming till Sunday. Today's Friday. So, back out. Pearl, shut up. Back out of the they go. Sit down, Slim. Sit. Sit. Again, never listens. Yeah, so, yeah. Interesting. Always good fun. Right, third time trying to get hoggets in for shearing. See how we go this time. <laughs> Quiet pearl. Here's slum! Here's slum! So um, yeah, I didn't get any footage of shearing the hoggets, but I've squeezed a wee bit in there of ewe shearing, which happened about a week ago, but a week after this lot. We're getting a bit behind on videos right now, but we'll get caught up. Um, yeah, so all went well. The uh, ones with lambs are right here in front of me, and the other ones will just go up and have a look at in a minute. Just want to say that uh, no sheep were harmed in the shearing. They all ran down the porthole and went out for a feed. And we're very happy in some warm weather to be uh, relieved of their great big jerseys. So, these are the Sean ones. They're, uh, they're looking better than expected, I must admit. Sorry, I've got a new toy. Red 
DJI Osmo Osmos whatever it is, camera and uh, it's got some self leveling stuff on it I don't know yeah it's gonna be good but I've just got to get used to it so as I turn that around there it takes a minute but um, yeah they're looking better better than I thought they were going to there's those light ones in here too don't forget that have headlamps but don't currently have them on them um, yeah but well, we're gonna have a look at the other ones too and here's the other ones. These are the better ones that haven't lambed. They're uh, looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. They're reasonably round but not obese. So they're in good nick but they've got room to put a bit of weight on at mating time. Which we always like to do. They're on some reasonably rough feed. Hang on. We'll see how well this goes down here. There we go. Looking down at that. There's a few thistles around and not a lot of clover. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, we got it. Things got a bit out of hand out here. The old hogget rotation with the Samson grass, it, it just grows like crazy in November, and yeah, quite long. So what we're doing is, ideally, what we'll do is graze then top, but we're going to graze sort of three quarters of it, and we're going to go right around fast rotation, and come back, and then the idea is that the second time they go around, there'll still be a bit of rough stuff there, but they'll have picked the good stuff out. There'll be a bit more good stuff come back through. And as they're eating that, they'll eat a bit more of the rough stuff, and then we'll come in and we'll mow the seed head and all the thistles. And we won't have like three tons of the heat deer of toppings lying on the paddock, because it is wasteful, but more so than that, it's. Uh, just watching a sheep having a fit. Hang on. Uh, that one, sort of right in the middle of the screen, the bottom of that group, she just rolled over and had a. I don't know, some kind of fit. She's looking alright though. Just keep an eye on that. So yeah, um, that's the idea. Because that three ton of the heat deer of toppings, it, it does, it is wastage, but it's also, it, it sits on top of the grass and stops the sun getting through. And if the sun didn't get through, the grass didn't grow. So yeah. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, there'll be another video out hopefully next week. And we'll be looking at weaning and shearing. So shearing will use. Good on you.